Hello, this is Doug Hull over at Red Chip Poker, and I wanted to answer a question by Brenna. She was asking, how do you adjust between no limit and low limit poker? When she's asking this, she's actually asking about spread limit poker. So in her room, you can bet anything from 2 to 20 or 3 to 20 dollars on any street. Now, this kind of spread limit poker is usually not spread because it is a good game or a fun game. It's almost always because the legalities in that area don't allow for no limit. They, ha they say that a bet can never be more than 20 or 30 dollars. And so that's why these games exist. In some areas, the spread limit is like 2 to 100 or 2 to 300 and it plays almost exactly like a $1, $2 no limit game. I've played in the 2 to 100 and because of the stack sizes and so on, those games are rarely ever limited by that $100 limit. Maybe on the river stacks have grown big enough that someone might be limited and not be able to bet their entire stack where they would want to. But for most reasonable uh, games, that $100 limit doesn't affect the strategy a whole lot until the river. So I wouldn't really worry about it too much. But this is a different kind of spread limit. This is 2 to 20 or 3 to 20. And so it is not really a no limit game. Once you get to most reasonable flops, you're going to be limited by that $20. And so I would treat this not as a no limit game, but as a limit game. If you look at it from that lens, I think you're going to be better off. So there's a lot of good strategy books about playing limit. And I think if you model it like that rather than as a no limit game, you're going to do better in this game. And my last bit of advice is spend a lot of time traveling to other areas where you can play real no limit. I think it's just going to be a much better game for you. If you like this kind of thing, stop by the Red Chip Poker forums and subscribe here on YouTube.